What's up guys, Broken Prophet here and welcome back to the vlog. Here's hoping that your week is going well so far. Okay, I'm recording this March the 7th at 10 p.m. Now y'all know tomorrow the 8th, which y'all probably see this in the morning or late tonight. But anyway, as of right now, I have sent out all the email links for the Grown Folks Magic Webinar. So if you have not gotten yours, I feel some spit. <laughs> if you haven't gotten yours, please text me on the text line at area code 404-850-1024. And if you have not gotten in, I've still got some seats left. $10 via um, Cash App or Venmo. The information is going to be down below. All right. So, if but before y'all message me, please check your spam folder. And I'll, it's, it's coming from my email address. All right. Because every time somebody's like, Prophet, I didn't get my link, and, and y'all have it. It's right there. So please check your spam folder, your junk folder, or whatever. All right. But anyway, before um, we get going, I want to thank Jordan and Robin for your donations. They were greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. So, so very much. All right. So without further ado, let's kick this thing off. I was talking to actually a few of you guys that were just starting on your hoodoo journey. And I really feel for y'all. So I thought I'd do a video on some things to watch out for in, in your, like in, in the beginning steps, the beginning stages, real simple. So <clears throat> I know there's so much conflicting information out there and it's hard to sift through it all. And a lot of times it leads to analysis paralysis where you are looking at the information and you're like, man, God, it's just, it's, it's so much, it's so much that you end up writing and writing and writing, but you're not doing and doing and doing. So some of you have two, three years into hoodoo and can't hex a net in the flying sideways. So I decided, you know what, let me do like a little brief, a little brief video to warn the new people of some of the pitfalls. All right, so pitfall number one, beware of folks who try to make the practice seem too spooky. You know, I, I know people don't want to admit it, but a lot of people's expectations of spirituality has to do with Hollywood. People have seen movies, um, read books, and that's what you want to happen. It's crazy as it seems, but that, that does happen, okay? And so with that being said, there is a set of marketeers that want to cater to that. And they have no interest in your spiritual growth. They only have interest in selling their books or peddling their wares. So if they can make you, you know, so afraid of the spooky, but at the same time excited, people get an endorphin rush when it comes to the paranormal, kind of like getting on a roller coaster. It's, it's kind of scary, but it's fun at the same time. And so they know that. So they want to um, kind of hit you with that endorphin rush. In sales, it's called hitting you with the ether. Whenever you start to like want to back out of like a car sale or anything like that, they the salesman will always walk over and pump you up. That's what they call hitting you with the ether. They'll try to pump you up and get you all excited, get that endorphin rush. So you'll sign, sign, sign. And that's what the marketeers want to do. They want you to charge, charge, charge. So they'll add a lot of spookiness to it. And believe me, <laughs> hoodoo can be spooky enough. Y'all have heard a lot of my stories. But it, it is... It is not like the like the movies. Someone asked me today, they were like, you know, well, Prophet, you always say that it's not like the movies. Well, why doesn't somebody make a movie about all, you know, traditional and authentic, real root work? And I'm like, because it'd be boring <laughs> if y'all. And this is what I told this person. If y'all saw what I did on a day to day basis, just take all all the what you know about Hulu out. You will see me wake up. Say some prayers. Maybe go and sit at, you know, let's say you don't know what an altar is. You, I would sit at a table quietly, shuffle some cards and deal them out, looking like I'm playing solitaire. Go out to a shed for, for a little bit, come back in, talk to a few people, go out, play with, play with some mud and some sticks or, you know, 
you know, dump some water over a few people's head and then call it a day. You know, you don't know about spiritual baths or anything, but would that be a movie you want to watch? No, of course not. You know, I, it, it's like my friends who are police officers, right? Yes, they have that one percent of their job that is mind numbing terror. But the other ninety nine percent is 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 routine riding around doing reports. Nobody wants to see that. OK, so. Beware of all the extra spooky because people, if they can, if they can get you hooked on the spooky and they can sell you spooky, they can sell you Ouija boards, they can sell you pendulums and get you all hyped up. And as long as you're hyped up, you aren't settled in and locked in for the fundamental teachings. So beware of the spooky. Okay. Two. Y'all don't buy into the arts and crafts hoodoo and y'all know what i'm talking about y'all have seen it on the clock app y'all have seen it on um you know fake book insta scam all of it pictures of candles that you know them things ain't burning you know they're not burning i saw somebody with a candle that they had taken look let, let's let, let's pretend this paper towel roll is, is a candle they had taken the candle and smeared oil around it and dipped it in herbs. And I'm like, are y'all working roots or y'all making this messed up candle margarita? You know, I put the salt around the rim. That's what it reminded me of. And I'm like, the arts and crafts hoodoo is not dangerous. But it's not dangerous spiritually, but it can be dangerous physically. Because you have got to use proper precaution when you are playing with playing with fire. So you're, you're putting all this stuff near an open flame. And I told y'all the story about this lady who almost burned her house down. Actually, it was her boyfriend's house. She almost burned down. Burned down. Put, and had soot all on this man's bathroom wall. <clears throat> the work is supposed to work. It is not supposed to be extra pretty. Now, yeah, if, it, it, if you can put a little flare in it fine because you know traditional root workers would put a little flair in their work but it was always practical and it's not always pretty someone mentioned my oils and they were like you know i appreciate you oh, it's not a whole bunch of stuff in there and it's not a whole bunch of perfume and i'm like no no it's it is oil it is designed to do a specific thing and it's not meant to make you smell pretty <laughs> okay it's not and so with that being said here, let me give you an idea of how trying to make something look pretty can work against you. We know in hoodoo that every root, every herb has a purpose, right? Everything that goes into that oil has a purpose. What if the things you are using to color or scent that oil goes against the purpose of it? You spent all this time all this time making this wonderful hexing oil, right? But then you don't like the way it smells, so you add some rose oil to it. Or what if you add a little, a little lemon oil to it? The lemon oil especially has counteracted the hexing. You just gave somebody some, 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 some gunk, or you just made yourself some gunk. Everything serves a purpose, and so the prettying up of something may not do well. Some of you may have watched my earlier videos where I put some nickels inside of a candle and it, it was to, re to reflect the energy a certain way. Well, if you prettying up and glittering up your candle, you could be doing the same thing, but that for that, it may work against you. So beware of the arts and crafts hoodoo. You can never go wrong in thinking back on what our ancestors had access to and what they might have done. You know, think about that. What do they have access to and what they might have done? And it will help to, to order your steps when it comes to your hoodoo practice. Number three, number three is something that's going to hurt some feelings. And I promise you, uh, I'm not intending to, but... <clears throat> the hoodoo community online largely 
is composed of the blind leading the blind. If you are looking for um, a, a teacher, a guide in hoodoo, please look for somebody that is older. And, I, and this is not a plug for me. <laughs> no, no, it is not a plug for me. I'm just saying, look for someone who is a little bit older and has been doing this for a while. There are a lot of spiritual workers out here that have been doing it for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. And with a little bit of looking, you can find them. The problem is the world does not want to actually exert itself anymore. We want everything in the in the palm of our hands comfortably while we're sipping our, our cappuccino in the air conditioning. No, you're going to have to venture out and look and look and look. And even if it takes you a year or two to find someone who can steer you the right way, it is worth more than five years of watching somebody um, <laughs> oh man watching somebody um, shove rose quartz up their nether regions while they dance naked under the full moon um, talking about Wednesday is is Mars day Gosh, to almighty, I, you know, sometimes I think the ancestors will look back or are, are looking down on us like. This is why I died and took you with me, you know, everybody talks about everyone who comes to me. They're like, well, my grandma or my granddad, they they were a worker and they died before they um could pass it on. And I'm like, some of them knew what they were doing. You know, some of them had the sight, they had the vision, and they were like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you are not taking my work onto these clock apps doing, doing this kind of mess. No, 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 no. So with that being said, um, yeah, I know it's hard to find someone that is legitimate that will teach you hoodoo, but it's not impossible. Just a little bit of work and a little bit in of time invested. And do not think that if y'all find a, tr a real old school worker, that they are going to sit there and let themselves be <laughs> interviewed. <laughs> you either going to get it or you're not. That's it. I mean, I'm sorry. You know, we, we come from a different time than now. So, yeah, that, that, that's just it. That's just it. All right. Number four, you don't have to buy everything. Start with the basics. Look at what you have in the cupboards. See, the thing is, you know, spirituality is meant to uplift you and build you. So if you know that a lot of the things we have in the kitchen is what we use for root working. And you don't have anything in the kitchen, you might you might start start cooking, working some roots. You're going to learn to cook like, man, instead of putting putting this in this oil, I might throw some of this on this chicken. I'm telling you, you will learn. You will learn. So don't, because so many people will come to me and they're like, you know, I bought this. Um, wh what can I use it for? And I'm like, you, you just up buying something? You don't even know what it's for? <laughs> like, no, no. Get an idea and then go buy stuff. Don't just buy stuff all willy nilly. No, slow down. Pump your brakes, young Patty One. Pump your brakes. Now, another pitfall is I see a lot of you guys um, <clears throat> trying to rush, 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 rush. And I get it. A lot of people come to Hoodoo and, and your excitement is born out of necessity. Someone left you, <clears throat> um, a job fell through something and you have exhausted everything that you know that you that you can do on this side. And somehow you found Hoodoo. Great, but still there are steps and guess what? The steps may, may not even be that you're meant to be a spiritual worker, but that does not mean that you cannot take part in the spiritual community. You can't, that doesn't mean that you can't benefit from hoodoo. Maybe your skills lie in readings. Maybe your skills lie elsewhere, but go slow fundamentals. If you are a beginner, you should focus on learning some method of divination, be it playing cards, tarot, oracle cards, whatever, some method of divination. And then two, 
cleansings. I cannot stress cleansings enough. Cleansings and protections. That's it. You know, <clears throat> folks will immediately want to jump into a working and want to throw stuff at somebody else. And you guys get into these groups, these online groups, and y'all fight with each other. <clears throat> and then you don't know anything and they may get lucky and hit you with something. Start with cleansings, protections and divination first. I, I, it, it never, and I know I'm rambling this video, but it never ceases to amaze me. The, the amount of people that are always talking, <clears throat> well, you know, spiritual protections from hexes and hexes. And I'm like, who's out here hexing like this? Guys, we are such a small part of the global community that you can go outside and talk to people all day long and nobody will know what hoodoo is. Maybe one person in 24 hours will know what it is. And, in, and if you get two people in 48 hours, only one of them may actually know how to do a little something. Maybe we are a small part of the global community. So don't, don't be so, <clears throat> excuse me. Don't be so worried. Um, no, where is the wrong, wrong, the wrong word. Don't, don't punch above your pay grade. Don't try to do the high level workings first. Start at the beginning, just with like with anything else, just build a good foundation first. Trust me, you'll know when you're ready. You'll know. And it won't be, I feel like I was led and all this other mess. No, you'll just know your gut instinct. Another thing, in the beginning, it is going to feel like nothing is working. And you go to your ancestor altar and it will feel like, like you're talking to no one. Sometimes it's a test. Your ancestors, the spirits that walk with you, want to see, are you going to do hoodoo like you did that exercise bike? They want to see if you want going to do hoodoo like you did um, that learning Spanish software. They want to see if you're going to do hoodoo like that, like that time you, you know, you swore you were going to, um, <laughs> I, shoot, I don't know. You know, all, all the stuff people say they're going to do, but they never do. You know, they want to make sure you're not going to do hoodoo like you did Reiki, where you spent all that time hot and heavy for six months and now you ain't Reiki and nothing. So, yeah, they, they gonna, they're going to make you wait a little bit. But trust me, the patience will pay off. It will. And lastly, guys, lastly, lastly, lastly. <sighs> Terminology. We are not hoodoos. I don't know when we people online. I don't know when people started. Call, when do we start calling ourselves hoodoos? The answer is we never ever did the only people who ever called folks in the hoodoo community hoodoos were the white media when they were writing about us trying to make and trying to exploit what it was we were doing we never called ourselves hoodoos stop we're not hoodoos we're not witches baby witches or anything like that terminology matters why does it matter because whenever you do stumble upon a elder hoodoo community we're gonna look at you like what what so no <laughs> no 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 and last oh no and lastly lastly i promise this is the last one lastly don't give in to fear for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind do not give in to fear. The absolute worst thing you can do, the worst thing that can happen with your workings is it's not going to work. Outside of like working with spirits or going into a graveyard, you're not going to mix something up and it's going to blow up in your face or, or tear your house down or cause you to lose everything. No, the worst that's going to happen is it's not going to work. But even that is a learning I'm not sure I understand. Even that is a learning experience. There's a blessing in every lesson. Okay? So, yeah, it may not work. It may not. But go, go back to your notes, go back to your drawing board and start again. It is a spiritual journey, not a spiritual trip. Okay. All right, guys. Hopefully I hurt anybody's feelings. Um, beginners, shoot. Hey, <laughs> I put y'all up on some game that nobody put me on. I mean, I had my grandmama. 
And, but still, some stuff I had to figure out on my own, and it's okay. Some stuff you're going to figure out on your own. Just persevere, go through it, and you're going to come out the other side a lot stronger than you were before. Okay? Thank you all so much. Um, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, sub to the channel, and we will see you next time. Profit out.